Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we'll generate from these videos will go to local New Zealand charities. Today we're going to talk about three things that first home buyers can do to get ready to purchase their home. The first thing you're going to want to do is order your credit report. This is really important to know what's on there because the banks are going to look at this really early in your application. Now there are a couple of websites that you can go to to get your credit report and they're always free. A couple of them charge you but that is just to get them faster. You should always be able to get your information at no cost to you. All you have to do is search for Credit Report New Zealand and you'll see a list of a variety of sources. If there's something wrong on your credit report, you're going to want to fix this soon. It could be that there's a payment you just didn't know about and has gone to collections. It could be there's a credit card that was taken out in your name and it wasn't you that took it out. All of these things come up, but it's really important to monitor it. Some people actually get their credit report once every quarter, once every six months, just to check that nothing is going on with their identity that they don't know about. The second thing you can do right now if you're looking to purchase a first home is to tidy up your spending. Sometimes it's really easy to blow out the budget, uh, spend up on takeaways, go to a restaurant and really just overspend. A little bit of that is okay, but going into unarranged overdraft on your account really signals to the bank that you are not good with your money. So any spending beyond the limit of your overdraft needs to be paid off that day or the bank will view that as a bad financial character. As often as you can, try to get your bills paid out on automatic payments. You have control of when they go out, you'll get a list of when they go out, and you'll be able to forecast your expenses and maybe dial back your spending a little bit when you know money's due to go out. The third thing to do, and this will be easier for some than for others, is to get proof of your income. Now, if you get pay slips every week or every fortnight, that's done and dusted, you've done it. But if you don't get pay slips regularly from your employer, or maybe you're self-employed, you need to think about how you're gonna prove your income to the bank. If you're self-employed, it's coming up to about August, so it's time to get your financials for the previous financial year done. The bank will want to see March 2020 financials from August 2020. If you're an employee and your employer doesn't give you pay slips, now's the time to start asking for them or get hold of your original employment contract and you can use that to prove exactly how much you get paid. Now just a note, post COVID lockdown, the banks aren't just looking at historical income, they're wanting to talk about what is the likelihood of you earning money in the future. So you're gonna to wanna to talk a little bit about how your industry is going, whatever industry you're working in, if you're self-employed, you're going to want to talk about how your clients have returned to you, business is back to normal, and you've got a good steady cash flow for a projected amount of time in the future. So that's three things you can do right now if you're looking to buy your first home in this market. Get your credit report checked, make sure there's nothing on it that you didn't know about. Get your expenses in order, make sure you're not going into unarranged overdraft or spending more than you earn, and get some proof of your income so that the bank will be happy to lend to you. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe below, talk to you soon.